I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet weather report. 2014 continues to be a year of surprises. Not the usual severe storms and crashing winds, but unexpected temperatures, rain, and dry weather. Here's a three-day rainfall map with totals for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. The surprise is having so much rain in the Panhandle and so little in the rest of the state. The green areas had over an inch and there were a couple of locations of intense storm cells that had over four inches. Another surprise was the low number of really hot days this summer. Our latest round of heat lasted about a week from Wednesday of last week to Tuesday of this week. Locations in the dark burgundy areas on a map of consecutive days with highs at or above 100 through Tuesday were at seven days in a row of 100 plus temperatures. On Wednesday, only two locations hit 100, Grandfield in the southwest and Oilton towards the northeast. Looking back at heat over the summer so far, there are 41 Mesonet locations that have never had a 100 degree day and another 8 Mesonet sites that have had only one day reach 100 or more. That's 49 sites out of 120. Grandfield, our top hot spot, has had 30 days of 100 or higher maximum air temperatures this summer. In 2011, Grandfield had 101 days at or above 100 degrees. And what is surprising on our map are the sites with less than 10 100 days. Like Goodwell, Slapout, Arnett, Cheyenne, Fort Cobb, Apache, Bernieville, and Medill. We finish up August with another batch of rain. These rains are needed to get the wheat crop up and growing for fall grazing. When we checked soil moisture in the top four inches before the rain, the numbers were discouraging. The majority of mesonet sites were in dark brown map areas indicating extremely low percent of plant available water. Only one site came in with high moisture, Eufaula at 95% plant available water. For fall planting, folks are also concerned with soil temperatures. On Wednesday, the three-day average soil temperature at four inches under bare soil was over 80 degrees for every mesonet site. 38 sites had soil temperatures of 90 or higher. Along with bringing moisture for fall planted crops and gardens, rain also cools soils, improving seed germination. September can surprise us with high water demand days. Last Sunday, the heat, wind, and low humidity combined to really drive up plant water needs. In the brown colored areas in western Oklahoma, plant water use was close to four tenths of an inch. In the yellow-green areas, three-tenths of an inch was common. Even in the green areas, many locations had a water demand close to a quarter of an inch. That means without some good rains, watering plants around the house in the fall is still important. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Mesonet Weather Report.